Hi, guys. Um, just show me some hands. Uh, Ether holders? All right. Bitcoin? All right. And who's, who's here first time? First timer? No shame. We're all learning every day, you know. The clicker? Here we go. All right. So, so Israel, right? My homeland. So, easy one. Israel! We have a problem. Let me tell you what the problem is, all right? We are talking to ourselves. And what do I mean by that? Our entire community, everybody in this community all over the world, okay, right now is about 30 million people. That's it. About half of them are Ethereum guys, half of them are Bitcoin and other coins, altcoin guys. But the total is about 30 million out of a population of 7 billion. Right? Seven point something. So how are we going to change the world if we're only 30 million people? Right? This is a fight to the death. The old centralized systems are not just going to fall over and let us walk over them. Right? We have to really fight hard. You've seen the biggest guys in the world try to come and crush the blockchain. Jamie Dimon, everyone you know, right? coming saying it's a fraud, it's, it's bad, it's not good for you, and so on. So where, where are the next 100 million people coming from? Who here is a speculator? Hands? I have no shame. I'll tell you I'm a speculator. Anyone? No speculators here, so you must be an anarchist, right? Who here is an anarchist? No hands. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, who here is a libertarian in Israel? Who is a libertarian? Okay, a few libertarians, right? So what is everybody else? Innovators, really. Well, the blockchain needs innovators, just not this many innovators, okay? Let's, let's admit it, all right? Most of us are speculators. Most of us are in this because we think it's going higher. And it, goes, it will go higher, but only if we had 100 million people, not if we had 100,000 people or 10,000 people, or 100 people, okay? So, I've heard hundreds of pitches, hundreds, okay? And almost none of them are talking about the next 100 billion, million people or the next billion people, okay? They're all corner cases. I'm gonna solve diamonds, or I'm gonna solve real estate, or I'm gonna solve uh, toll collectors for lead generation. I'm sorry. That is not going to bring the next billion people to this platform. You need something that everyone on this platform needs, and then maybe 10% of those people will actually join us. That's how hard this is. This is not easy. This is very hard. So, how are we going to do it? Anyone wants to take the mic and do it, do the rest of the speech? No volunteers? Come on, in Israel, everybody would jump on that. No? <laughs> anyway, let me tell you a little bit about myself. And you should Google this because you're probably not going to believe half of it. So, I'm the original inventor of the VoIP protocol back in 1994. I was two years old. No, that was a joke. B'dicha, b'dicha, yalla. But you, you can look up this patent, right? And, and basically back in the origin of the internet, before the Netscape, before the AOLs, before the, all the stuff we all know and love, people generated protocols for free. We actually gave them for free. TCP, IP, UDP, you name it, right? All of us use them every day and we use them for free. Actually, close to 99% of what the internet is, is free open source. Apache and so on, so on, so on. Right? So now, what are we doing? We're reinventing all of that and we're saying, we're going to create protocols and algorithms and everything else, and we're going to tokenize it, and we're going to charge the shit out of it. Right? We're going to make so much money, we're going to be on the Forbes 400. All of us, all the innovators who are sitting here. Right? That's what everybody wants, but there's no room for 100 new protocols or 1,000 new protocols. So, how do we accelerate this and bring the next billion people. What is that killer app? What is the Netscape moment that eliminates all of the toll collectors, eliminates all the stuff we do every day, 
and switches us from a centralized world to a decentralized world? That is the hard question. That is what you have to ask yourself every day. If you are that innovator, you have to ask yourself every day. And the blockchain is something very, very scarce and very, very expensive and very, very slow and very, very inefficient. Okay, a bunch of cats brought it down to its knees, right? Who here bought a cat, a virtual cat? You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, some of you know. You have a cat at home? What are, you talk what, what are we talking about? You heard about it, great. So we were doing our transactions, sending it to each other, and we got invaded by virtual cats. And that stopped the entire blockchain. So you want to put how many transactions in advertising on the blockchain? It's not going to work. If the cat, virtual cats can hijack the blockchain, your application is not going to do, is not going to survive there. 1300 ICOs, all of them want to live on the same blockchain. Not going to happen. So the blockchain, the open ledger, Consensus are all financial elements. So the solution to the question, in my view at least, my humble view, is going to be a financial solution. It's not going to be one of a thousand variants that you can read in the yellow pages. Okay, so Bill Gates said, I wish I said this, but Bill Gates said it, the world needs banking, it does not need banks. And we have to replace the banks. We need to find a way to eliminate that toll collector that really makes probably one of the most, uh, uh, one of the highest income sectors in the entire industry, right? In anything that has to do with anything. So cryptocurrencies are the future of finance. We talked about that. Cryptocurrencies as a financing platform can easily bring the next 100 million people and really do good. You can do good and do well. And, and you heard this again and again, I think, this morning, that it's all about creating a new ecosystem, creating a new environment where you can both do good and do well for your community. We're all part of this community. So if we can reverse the incentives, and instead of trying to make as much money as possible, right, for-profit corporations, their job is to make as much money as possible. The beauty of tokenization and creating coins is that the incentive system, the coins, is completely separate from the blockchain itself. You could have zero charges on the blockchain. In theory, you could run a private or public blockchain with zero cost and still have beautiful token economics and everybody still benefits on this side. So that's what you have to invent. You have to invent something that eliminates a toll collector and creates value in a completely different place. So what are we focused on? What is Celsius focused on? We think there is no way to earn interest from crypto assets. There's no place for finance pros like hedge funds and other guys. And unfortunately, the world still runs on dollars. What we've built is a wallet that allows you to earn coins on your coins. You just move your coins from a different wallet to our wallet and magically it starts earning interest just like the banks do. Okay, we build a platform for finance pros who can be on the other side of the trade and we share most of the profits with our shareholders, with our wallet holders. We have lenders, we have borrowers, and we run the process in the middle, providing most of the benefit to the lenders, right? We represent the lender community. This is what the wallet looks like. It's gonna be available in January. You can download it and you can basically move your coins and earn coins on your coins. You're still gonna make all the upside. If Ether goes up, you make that profit. Bitcoin goes up, Tether goes up. We don't care what coin you have. You're gonna still make the upside on this wallet. So it's a wallet that inter in earn interest. The minimum interest we'll pay will be about 5%. Today, all of us are earning zero on our coins. Why? Because there's no way to monetize that asset base. We found a way to monetize asset base and convince all these billions of people who put money in banks to stop putting money in banks and join our community. A great team, there's four Israelis here I think, and at least two more guys that speak Hebrew. 
So that qualifies the startup right there. We don't need anything else. We're doing a TGE, as the lawyer said, don't use ICO, use TGE. Well, we're doing an ICO. Okay, oh, look at that. The font went out. So go to the website, Celsius.network. You can register to move your coins. You want to be early in the line because the early in the line guarantees that you'll get paid. If, you're not, if you come late, chances are you might not be, we might not have enough borrowers to take your coins. And you can sign up for the pre-sale as well. So to summarize everything I just said, I put it in a really simple formula for all of you, right? Did you do your physics studies before you came here? Right? E stands for what? Huh? Here, here's a clue, here. Energy, no, Ethereum, all right, Ethereum. M, M stands for what? Money, no, no. M, mass, no. That's in the old world. In the new world, it's completely different. M stands for members. You want your ether to be valuable. You need to have many, many more members, and you need credit. The entire world runs on credit. Unless you have credit, you're not going to be able to do anything here. This is our contact information. I am welcome you. We have a booth down there if you want to uh, come and talk to us. Otherwise, please register, follow us on Telegram, and love to uh, talk to all of you. Thank you very much.